Imagine a time when all the continents on Earth were fused into one colossal landmass, a supercontinent called Pangaea. Over millions of years this landmass broke apart, giving birth to the continents we know today. This incredible phenomenon is called continental drift. But how did this happen? And what does it mean for us today? Let's uncover the secrets of Earth's ever-changing face. Continental drift was first proposed by German meteorologist Alfred Wegener in 1912. He noticed that the coastlines of South America and Africa fit together like pieces of a puzzle. Wegener also found similar fossils and rock formations across continents separated by oceans. His theory suggested that all continents were once connected in a supercontinent called Pangaea, which started breaking apart around 200 million years ago. But his ideas were met with skepticism. Why? He couldn't explain how continents moved. So, how do continents move? The answer lies beneath the Earth's surface. The outer crust of our planet is broken into massive tectonic plates, which float on the semi-fluid mantle below. Heat from Earth's core creates convection currents in the mantle, driving the plates apart or pulling them together. Processes like ridge push and slab pull also play a role, moving continents at just a few centimeters per year, about the speed your fingernails grow. About 200 million years ago Pangaea began to break apart, splitting into two supercontinents, Gondwana in the south and Laurasia in the north. Over millions of years these land masses fragmented further, forming the continents and oceans we see today. This process continues even now, shaping Earth's surface with every passing moment. Continental drift is responsible for some of Earth's most dramatic geological features. The collision of tectonic plates creates towering mountain ranges like the Himalayas, while their divergence forms rift valleys and new oceans. Subduction zones generate powerful earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Even our natural resources, coal, oil and precious minerals are products of tectonic activity over millions of years. The movement of continents has profoundly influenced Earth's climate and ecosystems. As continents drifted to different latitudes, they experienced changing climates. Antarctica, for example, transformed from a lush forested region to an icy wasteland. Continental drift also isolated species, leading to unique evolutionary paths. Australia's marsupials, like kangaroos, evolved separately from mammals on other continents. Continental drift isn't slowing down. Scientists predict that in 250 million years the continents may merge again to form another supercontinent, often called Pangaea Proxima. This new landmass could dramatically alter Earth's climate, biodiversity and geography. While we may not witness it, understanding continental drift helps us appreciate our planet's dynamic nature. Continental drift is a testament to the incredible forces that shape our world. From the breakup of Pangaea to the formation of new land masses, it's a story of change, resilience and discovery. If you enjoyed this journey through Earth's history, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating science stories. See you next time.